Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Z's cooking channel. Today we're making yaki. So first and foremost, our main ingredient we need, of course, is Red Bull. Red Bull is the main ingredient to every Z-inspired meal. Make sure you have at least three cans, okay? So one, two, plus this extra third one. That's three cans in total, okay? Without three cans, you can't make good gnocchi. We also need our gnocchi. We also need our mincemeat. And of course, the sauce. This is going to give it the extra oomph after the red bull. To make sure we know what's in the food. So it'd be really nice if you had spinach, some maybe herbs and spices, it doesn't matter. Some just some shit to make it taste good, okay? So we want, we also want cheese. So I didn't buy any of that because I thought maybe my food had it, but this is an Asian asshole. Asians don't really eat cheese, so let's find out what we have. Yeah, so we have uh, two more pounds of red bull here. Okay. We have some tofu. First things first, we boil our water. So here's our water, you press this button, and then you just press the boil button. Some of you guys have never cooked before in your lives. So let me explain why you have to boil the water, and why you use tap water instead of some other shitty water, okay? So tap water is really nice. Secondly, secondly, boiling the water kills all the bacteria and all the shit that makes you sick. Alright, that's why you boil the water. Plus the heat from the water, it cooks the gnocchi. So some of you guys, I realize, have never seen salt before in your lives because you guys never cook. Louisa Dick, <coughs> Alan Huang, <coughs> Gina Park. <coughs> Alright, so if you're not sure, just take some of that salt and just Hold put it in your mouth and taste it. Mm, very salty. So while the water is boiling, we're going to add our secret ingredient, and you know what that is. That is Red Bull. So you just, here's our water, you're going to pour it in, make sure it's boiling. You make sure it goes all in, okay? And you boil that shit. So what we see right now is the Red Bull being boiled with the water. This is what's going to cook our knock here. That's going to, that's going to give us the, the, the Z oomph of this dish. So the Red Bull should be cooking right about now. It should look like that. It looks like piss, but don't worry, it's not piss. Now it's time to add our gnocchi. This is what you have to do. You open the gnocchi packets, you put it in. But don't put too much, otherwise you can't cook them all. You have to put them in uh, staggeredly, okay? So you put in as much as you can cook, take out what you cooked, and then put more in, okay? Don't put too much, otherwise you can't cook it right. So how do you know it's too much? Uh, use your brain. So a uh, little mistake I made. I bought two packets of gnocchi and I'm meant to cook uh, for four people. On the packet it says, serves four. So, uh, I have an extra packet of gnocchi. Comment down below if you want to win that gnocchi. Note how they're rising to the top now, all this gnocchi at the top. If I just scoop at the top, I get some gnocchi. That means they're pretty much done. And uh, I'm ready to scoop them out. A lot of you guys have been cooked before in your lives. Maybe not instant noodles, it doesn't count, okay? So you don't want to find out if the knock is actually cooked. So uh, cook a little bit. Eat it. It's going to be like cheese. I mean, you need the cheese, you'll know what it's done. It has to be hot all the way through. This one's, uh, it tastes like pastry right now, so I should cook it for a little bit longer, right? Um, just keep on trying it until you know it's done. You won't get sick, unless you're like doing something stupid, right? And note, the flavor of red is amazing. We have our knock, we picked up using our strainer for spaghetti or whatever that is. Uh, we put it in here, on this dish, one thing to know, so we put the knock on the dish. Don't be afraid to get some water in it, so get some of that knocky red bull broth into it. There's the reason why you don't want the knock dry out when you're preparing the sauce. We're going to do that. When you're stirring the meat, always use a wooden, have one hand here, but always use a wooden spoon. Because you don't want to damage your non-stick frying pan, they're expensive. I know this is like a really small frying pan, but I couldn't be bothered washing a big one, so I... 
Random side note, and this is very important. Louisa Deng, if you're watching, learn how to cook, please. This is a frying pan, something like I got you for your birthday. I got you a frying pan for your birthday, and I heard from a source, I'm not going to name who, that you just chuck in one of these cupboards that you just never open and use. This, you got to watch this video. Watch all the previous, all the next Z channel cooking videos and learn how to cook properly. Z's cooking channel, that's what I meant to say. Take that frying pan out of the, out of your cupboard and just learn to cook your... Don't be afraid to chop it into small bits and don't be afraid to mix it. When the meat is almost cooked through, we add our sauce. Make sure to use two cans of Red Bull when you're frying the mix, okay? You want to... Put at least a okay, minimum one can. Two cans if you're feeling uh, like you're really low on energy lately. If you feel like you've got to study all night, then use two cans. But if not, just the one will do. That's about it. That's how you make gnocchi. Took me uh, 45 minutes. This is my Red Bull gnocchi right here. Red Bull gnocchi. Rules of the kitchen. Number one. First and foremost, clean up after your own mess. All right, look at all this mess I made. Look at that. Look at that shit, look at that shit, look at that shit, look at that shit. So the thing is, cooking includes cleaning up after yourself and cleaning up after the mess you made. You can't just be like to your parents, hey, I cooked the food, now you have to wash the dishes. That doesn't work, it doesn't work like that. What you gotta do is, you gotta, if you, look, if you made a mess, you gotta clean it up. That's how it works in real life, but that's the same with cooking. You can't just be like, hey, Mom, I cooked, you can't make me, you can't make me clean up. That's rubbish, no, that's rubbish to your parents, cooking. Cooking involves washing the dishes. It's just a part of it. And you know what else? You guys are probably like first time cooks here. Because you're coming to this channel, I probably recommended you to watch this video. You probably don't even know how to like cook scrambled eggs properly. Freaking, <sighs> don't even get me started. That's why when you make a mess, I'm gonna assume you made a mess because you were shit. You were probably just shit at cooking. You didn't know what you were doing. You were just rubbish. You're a first time. You're an amateur. That's why you gotta cook after yourself. You gotta learn. So then you gotta make, you gotta clean up after your own mess. So that next time you go, oh shit, I don't wanna clean up after my own mess. So you don't make a mess. You get better. That's how you get better. You gotta clean up after your own mistakes. Don't get your parents to do it. Just just be a good sport and just wash the dishes.